Delta 9 team coverage on the massive cleanup underway after historic flooding in the Hudson Valley. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. From rock slides to roads in pieces, the heavy rain left behind a whole lot of damage. Chopper 2 flew over much of it earlier today. In some places in Rockland and Orange counties, the roads are chewed up or entirely washed away. And many of the damaged homes had to be evacuated because they are no longer stable. Governor Hochul says the danger for those residents is not over. It is still a dangerous situation. There are still people in these homes, and the buildings that they're in are actually compromised because of the volume of flooding that has occurred. New York State is already in the process of applying for federal aid. Emergency declarations have now been made in Rockland and Orange counties. And we are seeing more of the dramatic rescues as first responders sprung into action Sunday. Check out this video here from New York State Police rescuing people on the flooded roadways in Orange County. And it was a similar sight in Rockland County. Drivers left with nothing to do but wait for rescue as water rushed into the streets. We have team coverage for you tonight as communities begin to grapple with the devastation. Lonnie Quinn has your first alert forecast as we look ahead to possible more storms later this week. But we begin with Naveen Daliwal, who spoke with the father of the woman swept away in the flooding. The devastation in this community goes far beyond homes and roads. This town lost a good woman. Her name, Pamela Nugent. She moved here to be closer to her father. And it was her father who saw her being swept away by raging floodwaters. Ed Nugent is tired and in shock. It happened so quick. It just two seconds she was gone. As he looked at his road all washed out, he can't forget the last seconds of his daughter, Pamela's life. She thought the house was going to collapse. Was she screaming? Was yeah, she... she was hysterical and she was like, came out to here and we said, get back, get back. She went back and then uh, she's stubborn. She put her head down, took the dog and away she came out here. As she tried to cross Mine Dock Road, she was overcome by a foot and a half of fast water and was swept away right in front of her father's eyes. She tried to grab the car here, couldn't grab it and she went off to the side and there's a big hole in the road in the right. She went right down in there. The 43-year-old lived just on the road from her dad and moved to Fort Montgomery from New York City. She was engaged and loved it up here. Most beautiful, loving person in the world. Her neighbor, who didn't want to show her face, is heartbroken. None of this means anything, but Pamela's gone. Chopper 2 flew over the road, showing the devastation left behind by flash floods throughout the area. Trees down, roads washed away, homes covered in mud, debris piled, and neighbors trapped. My sons and I stood on the porch, and they couldn't do anything. For some, they will clean, they will rebuild. But for Nugent, this storm has left a life-changing impact. I haven't processed it yet, you know. It's, it's so surreal. Pamela was planning on getting married this coming October, and now, in this terrible twist of fate, her father is now planning on burying his eldest child. In Highland Falls, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.